the animal kingdom can be a scary place, full of mystery and some very scary creatures, no doubt. And no matter what modern animals you might fear now, causing you to break out in a feverish sweat or stalking you in your nightmares, chances are a bigger, badder version of the same creature existed in our world years before humans even walked the earth. From bus-sized sea creatures with giant razor-sharp teeth to massive bugs that could swallow a cat, rodents as big as a garden shed, birds with talons bigger than tiger claws, and all the way to the magnificent Siberian unicorns, yeah, unicorns, sort of. Here's a list of 15 scary extinct animals that actually existed. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling! Number 15. Giant Siberian Unicorn Unicorns do exist, or they did over 2.6 million years ago, but it was a giant rhinoceros and not a unicorn, yet called the Giant Siberian Unicorn. Confused? The giant Siberian unicorn really did exist, and it was huge, weighing in at a mighty four tons with an extraordinary single horn on its head. The Siberian unicorn may have shared the earth with early modern humans, believe it or not. The issue of the horn is heavily debated concerning how large it was and what it was used for. It probably had no magical powers, but it did provide a range of defense, probably attracting mates, drove away competitors, or helped the Siberian unicorn find food, sweep snow from the grass, or dig for water and plant roots. Since the beasts were herbivores, like our modern rhinos, the horn was likely not to have been used to attack or kill prey. In 2016, a beautifully preserved skull was found in Kazakhstan, proving that the animal lived some 29,000 years ago. Instead of the previously held belief that they had died out 350,000 years ago, a lack of food is likely one of the factors that tipped the Siberian unicorn into extinction around the same time that our early human Neanderthals went extinct. This means that the animals did share the earth with modern humans. Number 14. Helicoprian Originally thought to be a shark with terrifying saw-like teeth, the Helicoprian is actually a 270 million year old fish that swam around North America, Europe, Asia, and Australia. The fossils of buzzsaw Helicoprian have long mystified scientists because, for the most part, the only remains of the fish are its spiral scissor teeth. Its skeletal system was made of cartilage, which doesn't preserve well, so that was all that was left. The teeth, like something you've never seen before. Similar to a spiral saw blade, the jaw created a rolling back and slicing mechanism so you can just imagine the fish literally sawing its way through a good meal. No wonder they thought it was a shark. It was also quite big, growing up to 25 feet long. But the Helicoprian preferred softer food and likely ate soft tissue prey such as squid or octopus, rather than hunting creatures with shells or hard skeletons. Although it's certain that they could have probably ate whatever they wanted with chompers like that. And you can see for yourself, the Iowa State University's Museum of Natural History has the largest public collection of Helicoprian spiral teeth fossils in the world. Number 13. Adestus. Adestus is like the Helicoprian fish with its buzzsaw teeth, except instead of a circular saw, Adestus has an arc of teeth on both the roof and floor of its mouth and what has been described as pinking shears, you know, those scissors used to cut in a zigzag pattern. Because Adestus had this nightmarish teeth configuration, paleontologists have long puzzled over how it used its teeth to subdue and chop down on its prey. New research by the Natural History Museum at the University of Colorado suggests that instead of crushing its prey with scissor-like motions, Edestus used its outwardly projecting teeth in a vertical thrashing manner. Yikes, still totally freaky. So with this up and down motion, Edestus could have slashed and traumatized its prey in a matter of seconds and then gulp, swallowed it whole. Plus, this unbelievable fish could grow up to 20 feet long, and its fossils have been found around the world like Europe and even North America. Number 12. Titanoboa 58 million years ago, a few million years after the fall of the dinosaurs, 
A lot of the world was an immense swampy jungle where everything was hotter, wetter, and bigger than it is today. In Colombia, the land saw more than 150 inches of rain per year, compared with 80 inches for the Amazon now, and crazy hot temperatures, mid to high 80s Fahrenheit or higher. But even bigger and badder than the extreme weather is the Titanoboa, which is, you guessed it, a giant snake. Although long extinct, the snake lived 66 million years ago and is considered to be the largest known member of the serpent family. This massive king of the jungle was truly spectacular, a snake more than 40 feet long and weighing more than a ton, and looked a lot like a modern day boa constrictor, but behaved more like today's water-dwelling anaconda, a fearsome predator able to eat any animal that caught its eye, like crocodiles, turtles, fish, and even birds. Modern anacondas spend most of their time in or around water, where they hide amid vegetation in the shallows and ambush prey. It's extremely likely that the ancient Titanoboa behaved similarly, but because of the snake's large size, the thickest part of its body could be as high as a grown person's waist. It would have made living on land awkward or impossible. Number 11. Pinacopteris decorahensis. The creature, Pinacopteris decorahensis, is the oldest known species of sea scorpion related to a group of aquatic arthropods that are ancestors of modern spiders, lobsters, and ticks. The giant sea scorpion lived 467 million years ago and could grow over six feet long and looked completely scary with an extended head shield, a narrow body, and large grasping limbs for trapping prey. Oh boy, the discovery was made by paleontologists from Yale University and the University of Iowa. According to Dr. Lambsdale, this creature is incredibly bizarre. And did we already mention that it's scary? But still, it must have been one of the world's most transparent predators in early ecosystems. Geologists discovered a fossil bed in a meteorite crater by a river in northeastern Iowa in 2010 and unearthed and collected the fossils by temporarily damming the river. This revealed that this super scorpion lived in a shallow marine environment with low salinity that was inhospitable to typical marine life. So this undisturbed, oxygen-poor bottom water within the meteorite crater led to the scorpion fossil's remarkable preservation. Possibly related more closely to arachnids or spiders, the sea scorpion may have had eight legs, but only walked on six of them much like a scorpion, and it has to be said, still very scary and long extinct, we hope. Number 10. Hallucigenia fortis. Hallucigenia was first identified as the very strange looking aquatic worm Canadia by Charles Doolittle Walcott in 1911. However, a study of the Canadia fossils by Simon Conway Morris in 1977 brought to light the discovery that the fossils did not represent worms at all. Because of its bizarre appearance of spikes and tentacles, it was given the name Hallucigenia fortis because of their bizarre and dreamlike quality. Um, more like a nightmare, really. Hallucigenia fortis is unlike nearly any living animal today, although it was likely the ancestor to modern-day arthropods like spiders or crustaceans, and these ranged in size up to an inch long, but it had a round, worm-like body that was likely squishy to the touch, with seven spines on one side and seven pincer-tipped tentacles on the other. There are smaller tentacles further along the body the small creature's hard, sharp spikes that stuck out of its back likely kept potential predators away. It had two tentacles out in front that were likely adapted to feeling its way around the bottom of the seas it lived in and making sure it was going in the right way. Or so they think. There is still some confusion, but this interpretation is based upon fossils recently recovered from the Maoshanshan shells of China in 1991. Number 9. Megan Yura. Meganura is a giant dragonfly from the Carboniferous period, approximately 300 million years ago, in Europe and North America and are related to present-day dragonflies. But like way bigger. These eagle-sized dragonflies are described as the rulers of the Carboniferous skies. Its wingspan from 25.6 inches to more than 28 inches wide, making it one of the largest known species of flying insects. Meganura was predatory, and their diet consisted mainly of other insects or smaller lizards. 
Fossils were discovered in 1880, and five years later, a paleontologist described and named the fossil Meganeura, large nerved, which refers to the large network of veins on the insect's wings. Another fine fossil specimen was found in 1979 at Bolsover in Derbyshire, but is now housed in the National Museum of Natural History in Paris. Number 8. Dunkleosteus 358 million years ago, a shallow sea field with marine life covered northeast Ohio and a lot of the United States, but it was there that the Dunkleosteus terrelli, the largest predator and one of the fiercest creatures alive in the Devonian age of fishes ruled the subtropical waters. Up to 20 feet in length and weighing more than one ton, this fish, with self-sharpening fangs, was capable of chopping prehistoric sharks into bits. Cleveland Museum's Lee Hall describes the fish's gnarly bite like this. Imagine a big guy with an ax swinging down as hard as he can, while another guy swings upward. Yowza! Dunkleosteus had a massive skull made of thick, bony plates and two sets of fang-like protrusions near the front of powerful jawbones. But Dunkleosteus did not have true teeth, like we know of now. Instead, the skull's bony plates extended into sharp fangs in front of the mouth. These fangs scraped together, continuously sharpening each other as the fish opened and closed its jaws. Sheesh! This museum has some of the world's best preserved Dunkleosteus Torelli fossils, including the giant armored skull on display in Kirkland Hall of Prehistoric Life, nicknamed Dunk. Dunkleosteus Torelli is named for former museum curator of vertebrate paleontology, Dr. David Dunkel and Jay Terrell, who discovered the first fossils of the terrible fish in 1867. Number 7. Dinosuchus this giant alligator, or Dinosuchus, is an extinct member of the crocodilian family related to the modern alligator that lived 82 to 73 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. There were many other large reptiles of the time, but immediate thought is usually given to the dinosaurs. The name translates as terrible crocodile and is derived from the Greek word dinos, aka terrible, and sokus, which means crocodile, the first remains were discovered in North Carolina in the United States around the 1850s. The main difference between the modern alligator and these ancient creatures is the size, measuring up to 39 feet long and weighing around 8.5 tons, and a bite force of up to 10.5 tons. So when it hunted, the giant alligator approached its prey from the water as they drank and lunged out at them when close enough for a strike, like today's alligators, and it sure loved to eat other dinosaurs freshwater turtles, and pretty much whatever it wanted to. Its monster jaws totally suited for crushing everything. Number 6. Phobriamis pattersoni, the largest rodent that ever lived. Phobriamis pattersoni weighed around 1,545 pounds, more than 10 times the size of today's rodent heavyweight champion, the 110-pound capybara. Over 8 million years ago, Dining on seagrass and dodging crocodiles was an evolutionary sibling to the modern-day guinea pig, but huge, with a long tail for balancing on its hind legs and continuously growing teeth. It was also semi-aquatic, like the capybara, and probably foraged along riverbanks. Discovered in a now arid region in Venezuela, 250 miles west of Caracas, in the town of Uramaco. The massive rodent fossil and associated plant evidence suggest a lush tropical landscape, rich with supersized turtles, catfish, and crocodiles. Plus the theory that a massive river called the Paleo Orinoco Amazon once flowed parallel to the Andes mountain range through the area to the Caribbean Sea. Why don't buffalo-sized rats roam the earth today? And why did Phobomeris pattersoni reach such massive proportions? The researchers think that they were able to get so huge because they weren't any grazing animals competing with them, like horses or cows. But the rodents disappeared when ferocious, even bigger predators eventually arrived on the continent. Number 5. Anomalocaris Imagine the oceans 530 million years ago filled with creatures alien to us today. Aromalocaris, 
from the Greek meaning unusual shrimp, was a major predator of those ancient seas. Fossils in Canada, as well as formations in China, Greenland, Australia, and Utah show that this massive ancient shrimp was widespread during this period. This super shrimp, which grew up to six feet long, had compound eyes with thousands of lenses, which gave it extremely sharp vision. And its undulating swimming motion made it very fast in water. Once it caught up to its prey, the creature could grab it using front limbs equipped with sharp spikes. This combination of excellent vision, speed, and spiky front arms would have made it a formidable predator. It is instantly related to modern arthropods, including crabs and lobsters. It didn't survive the mass extinction at the end of the Cambrian era where 90% of life on Earth was suddenly, in geologic time, eradicated then in an event known as the Great Permian Extinction. But before that, many scientists believed that the shrimp giant ruled this world as a top predator. It was the largest hunter of its time. Number 4. Arctotus Arctotus is not a very well-known name, but it's also known as the bulldog bear or short-faced bear because of its short, broad muzzle and low, low forehead with eyes set far apart and facing forward. It measured 5.5 feet at shoulder height when standing on all fours and up to 12 feet when it's on its hind legs with a reach of over 14 feet. Though it weighed as much as 2,000 pounds, it had a leaner build than today's brown bear and longer limbs, allowing it to run faster, over 40 miles per hour. The analysis for this unusual animal shows that it was what is classified as a hypercarnivore, where 70 to 100 percent of the eaten food is the tissue from other animals. So, huge meat lover, like bison, deer, elk, musk, oxen, and other large animals. But this beast did not specialize in just one type of prey, which is quite normal for a scavenger. Another clue comes from this immense size of the body. Arctotus were the largest carnivorous mammals currently known from that era in North America, and possibly the largest carnivorous animals since dinosaurs disappeared. As it's extremely unlikely that the other predators would stand a chance with this bear, saddle up to the meat lover's buffet. This bear is first in line, and the behavior has been well documented in modern times where grizzly bears will walk in and steal the kills away from packs of gray wolves. And naturally, the wolves let the more powerful predator take what it wants. After you, Arctotus, it lived till about 12,000 years ago, about the time that humans in North America became better hunters, which most likely contributed to the bear's extinction. Number 3. Mega Piranha the ancient carnivorous mega piranha, and yes, it's probably as bad as it sounds, lived between 6 million and 10 million years ago, and packed a devastating bite with a force that was up to 50 times its weight. Originating in South America during the Miocene era, when the Amazon and Piranha Basin were once continuously a habitat to all other animals, from snakes to fish to crocodiles were generally bigger than they are today. The largest variety of modern piranha, the black piranha, chows down on prey with a biting force of 70 to 75 pounds per square inch, which is crazy considering it's a lot smaller. A new study shows that the mega piranha chomped with a bite force of up to 1,000 pounds per square inch or about 50 times its own body weight, around 20 to 30 pounds. That powerful force allows the piranha to quickly bite whole chunks of flesh from animals as they pass by. So you wouldn't want to encounter either piranha, small or large, ever. They have razor sharp teeth and a voracious hunger for meat. Plus they tend to swarm and devour prey much larger than them, whatever gets in their way. And today, piranhas have even been known to bite off the toes of unwary human beachgoers, although who swims at a beach where piranhas might live? Silly humans. Number 2. Megalodon Megalodon literally means giant tooth, but it could also mean huge freaking shark. From a very long time ago, the earliest megalodon fossils date 20 million years ago. And for years, the enormous shark dominated the oceans worldwide until becoming extinct just 3.6 million years ago and was not only the biggest shark in the world, but one of the largest fish ever to exist. Estimates suggest that it grew up to 60 feet in length, three times longer than the largest recorded great white shark. 
Booyah! Without a complete megalodon skeleton, these figures are based on the size of the animal's teeth, which can reach over six inches long. In fact, these teeth can tell us a lot, such as what these massive animals ate. With its large serrated teeth, these giants loved meat like whales and large fish, probably other sharks even. If you're that big, you need to eat a lot, so large prey is essential. This would have included animals as small as dolphins and as large as humpback whales. So the megalodon had to be able to open its mouth wide. It's estimated that its jaw would span 2.7 to 3.4 meters wide, easily big enough to swallow two adult people side by side. These jaws were lined with 276 teeth. Need we say more? Number 1. Hast's Eagle with a wingspan of between 6 to 8 feet across and weighing up to 30 pounds, the Hast's eagle is the largest eagle ever to have existed in the world, ever. It's thought to have been heavier in relation to wing size than of any eagle alive today. Its largest claws were as much as 6 inches long, making them as large as those of a tiger. Since pre-Polynesian New Zealand was largely covered in forests and most remains have come from those areas, it seems most likely that the Hast's eagle was a forest and or fringe dweller. The shortened wing bones would have also suggested that the birds were adapted to a more forested environment. The Hast's eagle went extinct relatively recently though, and evidence shows that this epic eagle existed when Maori people first arrived in New Zealand some 800 years ago. An account suggests that it may have still existed when Europeans arrived in the early 1800s. So people have actually seen the big bird alive, unlike so many scary creatures on the list of top 15 scary extinct animals that actually existed.